Hello, my fellow rebels. I am more to me for life, and we are back in Rimworld. Riding shotgun is Tigress, and she is in the navigation seat. I don't know how you can be the navigator and in the shotgun side, but this is the type of stuff that happens on the Switch channel. Yes, because we like to mix it up here. That, that's how we do. <laughs> that's how we do. <laughs> okay, today I am actually back talking about the animals, and it's because I have learned so much about the animals because I have become an animal husbandry -er. Is that a word? Look at all them animals. Look at all the babies. Look at the, that's just the ones in the animal area. I actually have some sectioned off to an, oh my god, and we've got another <laughs> fucking animal. <laughs> oh my god. Now, I have determined that I am not going to, um, <laughs> Uh, slaughter any of these animals, I am trying to breed them and sell them, or use them in other manners, such as haulers or medics, I guess you could say. Go ahead and teach them how to do this while we got this thing open. Go ahead and put release. Let's go all the way across the top. Right here. Alright, you have the obedience training. Now, exactly precisely what that does, I don't really know, but... All of them can be taught that, except for very low intelligence creatures like you cannot teach a chicken anything. Nothing. Okay, next one. Uh, release. They can release them during fights. So if you want an attack animal like a cougar or a panther or something massive, that is great. Alright, and the next one. The rescue. They will actually go out and get injured comrades. And I haven't actually seen it, but possibly other injured animals. I'm taking people off of following their master. Really? All right, and this one is for people. People. Oh my goodness, they're people to me. Um. Oh my, oh my god. Following the master. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. Okay. Haulers can actually haul items in oh, for you, which is great because if you have a low amount of settlers or colonists, that means you're not gonna be able to get everything hauled in quite as quickly as you want to. Possibly having food spool, wood going to waste out there, bad guys' clothes getting deteriorated. So these guys are really, really helpful, your haulers. And I must say, the huskies are probably the best haulers and the most faith faithful haulers I have seen. Now, the next icon, which was not here for the um, Alpha 15, is follow your, hunt your master while the master is being dispatched. Not dispatched. What is the word? Drafted. Alright, now if you actually draft your colonist for a fight or a major battle, this animal will follow its master. If you do not want that animal following that master into whatever you're drafting them for, cross it out. If you want them to follow, say... Why do we have the pigs following? No, that, that's something else. Say you want your cougars to follow whenever you're being drafted here, then you would ch check that one. On the other side, we have... My God... Pause. Okay. What's this one? Now, you can also have a tab for following the master while the master is doing work. Whenever they're mining, whenever they're any number of things, hauling in food. Now, if they're also able to haul things, that means that they are already there and waiting to haul the stuff in. If the person is a hunter, they will follow that person out while they're hunting. And I have actually seen this. If you want to look in on the cougars right quick. It's going to be Rhodes. Rhodes is my uh, person. And sadly, Dusty died in a Can't fight with a panther. There you go. Great. And what am I looking at? Panthers? No, you're looking at the cougars. Cougars. About the same thing. All right, my cougars here, I actually saw something that was quite adorable. I had a couple of cougars and a baby cougar following Holloway, my hunter, around on his duties. I actually saw the mama cougar training the baby cougar how to hunt. Yes, they will train their babies. I have never seen that before, and I did not believe what I was seeing, but I actually watched the mama cougar teach the baby cougar to hunt that tortoise. Not that the tortoise was very happy about it. Okay. I don't think anything was very happy about it. Now, I would like to go to Zones and go to ex uh, Expand Allowable Areas. Chickens! Yeah, I can't get that one to work. Go down to Animal Area. 
All right, click on it. Okay, now I'll go down. As you can see, I have got one small area where most of my um, defenseless animals are at. These are the ones that don't hit very much, that are very easy to die. Say, baby chickens and cougars do not mix. Baby chickens and panthers, baby chickens and cobras do not mix. So all my baby chickens, all my baby piglets, any pregnant creature goes in this area. And as you can see, I've got growing plots inside this area that I never get to harvest. Ever. They always get done eating the food before I ever get there. And on a note about food, most of the animals, 90% of the animals will eat just about anything. Not to say that it agrees with them. A lot of times they will get food poisoning and say, instead of like your uh, canines really need to eat kibble. But they will go in there and eat your rice. They will go in there and eat fertilized eggs, which I found out the hard way. And they will get food poisoning from it and they'll throw up all over your colony. So pay attention to that. I have also found out that your animals can get addicted to stuff. I had an animal, one of my huskies, that got addicted to Luciferium. And when he couldn't get any more because he'd eaten it all, he went berserk and I had to euthanize him. And now I've currently got a dog. How is he doing? Um, let's go to animals and check out Droopy. And no, I did not name him. <gasps> Droopy. Let's check his health. He's healthy. Check his health. Oh. As you can see, he has got an alcohol tolerance, which is now small. It was massive. But if you'll see in the next thing, he has got a carcinoma. He has actually got cancer of his liver because he got into my beer. All of it. Every bit. And it took me forever to realize why I wasn't getting beer out of my brewery. The daggum dog was drinking my beer. So I had to isolate him. He's no longer allowed out of that area. And I moved all of my beer production stuff away from him. So he can't get to it anymore. So his tolerance for it is getting lower. He's getting to where he's getting over his uh, addiction to it. But the damage is already done. He already has a cancer of the liver. And he will probably eventually die from it. Um, another thing about the animals... Um, okay, the eggs. Definitely go over the eggs. I had male and female chickens for a long time, and I couldn't figure out what was going on with we the baby. We just had five. We have nine now. Oh, Lord. We're going to have chicken pox again. We have got babies everywhere. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, um, I had the chicken's eggs where they were being hauled to the refrigerator, the same as everything else, but they were getting frozen, and they would die. So I moved them out because I actually wanted to have the baby chicks. And I moved them over here right in front of the door so they could just be dropped off and left alone. Then I caught my cougars and my dogs eating the eggs. So not only were they drinking my beer, they were eating my baby chickens. <laughs> not were they only drinking her beer and using all her drugs. <laughs> yeah, they used all my drugs. And they keep eating all my hops plants too. I had to I still can't keep them out of the hops plants. I'm not really producing a whole lot of beer anymore because I can't keep it anymore. So the next time a trader comes in, what happened to that trader, by the way? They haven't met yet? Yeah. Okay. Um, so the next time a trader comes in, we are actually going to try and get rid of some of these animals and hope that we can actually turn a profit because I have been waiting for a long time and they don't take animals. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, that's great because we love our animals. Bull. Yeah, we have a bull. He's down here. <laughs> See him? Down here. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Cancel this for right now. Freeze. All right. I don't want to get off track that's of right. being able to talk to the an talk to the animals. I want to talk <laughs> with the animals. Okay. We also have something very, very kind of sad. Kind of sad. We have an animal here who has been very helpful with our colony. He's hauled a lot of hauls. He's hunted with us. But as you can see, his front leg was bent off. His front right leg was bent off. His rear right leg, he can't move anymore. So sadly, the only bill we have an, uh, an option for at all on animals is to euthanize. If anybody knows of a mod where you can actually get a vet 
that will, I mean, because you can get people who are vets in the back, in their background, I've seen them, but they don't actually operate at all on animals. So there's, Jesus, sorry, that technical difficulty, sorry. It was an earth shake. We've got to get out of here. <laughs> Thanks, that makes me feel a lot better. Land before time. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> the fact that I remember that line. For the love of God. Okay. <laughs> Tells you how many you watched it. <laughs> how many times you watched it? Five thousand times. Because <laughs> you loved it. Anyway. Three, two, one. Okay, the only bill we have is to euthanize him, so we are going to have to euthanize him. I don't really want to, but he's no longer a contributing member of the team. We can't sell him in this manner because he won't sell, and he can't haul, so he's kind of sitting here and not really doing anything. If anything, he's just going to sit here and suffer because animals are supposed to be up and moving, so we're going to euthanize him. Now, which brings me to another thing. This particular tab right here, I've never figured out the point in it. Why do you have it where they can mark slaughter? Is this where you assign an animal to help you slaughter other animals? Other tamed animals? Say if I wanted to take my cougar and assign it to help me, I don't know, slaughter my pigs? Is that how that works? Or are you actually saying you want to slaughter that animal? You're assigning that animal to be slaughtered at a certain time. Say, if um, I have a b whole bunch of piglets and I go ahead and assign them to be slaughtered, would they be slaughtered right then? Would they wait until they were adults and be slaughtered? I haven't quite figured that one out yet because I haven't quite reached that point. I said I wasn't going to slaughter any of my creatures. So I don't understand the point in that tab right there because if you go into the bills, it allows you to euthanize an animal either way. So it's the same thing. And euthanize sounds so much better than slaughter. <laughs> it's like, let me euthanize my pig. I don't wish to slaughter my pig. Okay, so let me see. What else did I have? Oh, and on the term of keeping your animals alive, there are two creatures mainly to look out for. The big cats, mostly panthers in my case, but I guess cougars, wild cougars could do it too, and cobras for the baby animals. Definitely need to be very, very careful of that. Now, in the animals, we can manage areas. We have animal areas, but if we go back and check, you see we got a chicken's area and an animal area. You can rename, invert, make new animals, new animal areas. The issue being is in this particular tab, you are only allowed the unrestricted, the home, and the animal area. I have no idea, unless I'm just not seeing it, how to get another tab out here so you can assign, say, these are my pregnant and baby areas, and then maybe I want another area that isolates my creatures that can go anywhere out of my freezers, or out of my alcohol, or out of my drugs. <laughs> how do I do this? Someone tell me in the comments section. We can't. Mama, we can't keep the people out the drugs. How are you going to keep the dogs out of the drugs? Well, I can keep the people out of the drugs as long as they're not going berserk. You can put an X on it and it isolates them from it. But the issue is if I say I want to put my drugs in here, and I don't know why that's sitting there. It's killing all my stuff. Anyway, if, um, if I put my beer in here, but I close off this door, that means they can't haul things into it. If I close off this door, even my animals can't haul things because my animals do haul my food to the freezers. So if I tell them they can't go in the freezers, they can't haul the food to the freezers. If I tell them they can't go in the big freezer, they can't haul the food to the big freezer. If you isolate them from a certain room, you cannot get them to haul to that room. So that would be another issue I have. So even though if I was to tell them, hey, I don't want them in here, and if I even had a tab, to do this, there's no way to get them to haul for that anymore, in which case it negates the ability to have haulers. Okay, and a quick recap on what you can and can't do, well not necessarily what you can't do because I'm pretty sure there's other things that you can do with animals. Um, you can buy them, you can sell them, uh, you can slaughter them, you can use them for hunting, you can use them for hauling, you can use them as your medic, 
not necessarily saying they're going to be your doctor, but they're going to haul the sick people in. One of the people down here is called Squirt. <laughs> You had to tell me that right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to. Because this video is not long enough. Let's discuss squirt down here. Let's go have a look at squirt. Uh, yeah, he looks like a squirt. Okay. Okay, you got me off track again. What the hell was I pissing to say? Buy, sell, trade, haul, slaughter. There's bills. Only thing you can do is euthanize them. Also, some of the other benefits to having certain creatures is, say, for instance, I have a mega sloth, which sheds fur from time to time, which I can make clothes from. There is some alpacas floating around somewhere. Alpaca, alpaca. Where are they at? Somewhere. <laughs> Your guess anyway, is as good as mine. There's one. Now, the alpacas will also, see it says wool growth right here, they will drop wool and you can make clothes with it. So that's a benefit to having them. And we have a cow somewhere. Sadly, we do not have the female cow, so we are not currently getting any milk from this cow. Our bull is very unhappy. He has got no female bull, a uh, female cow. Heifer. <laughs> <laughs> we have no heifer. <laughs> so... Uh, we're not getting any milk right now, but we do have the chickens and we do get eggs. Some are fertilized and some are not. I don't know what the percentage on fertilized and non-fertilized is exactly, or if it has to do with the female drops the eggs and if they're left alone for a certain amount of time, the male will fertilize them. I don't know how it works as far as the game mechanics go. But since I have isolated them over here all together, all of my eggs have been fertilized. So if you're not getting fertilized eggs, isolate your chickens to one area and they will more than likely fertilize them for you. That means the colonists aren't going to come by and sweep the eggs up before the the rooster works his magic or, or whatever that would be. Bippity bappity boo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feed it after midnight! Okay. <laughs> We're never going to get done with this video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that is everything I have learned up to this point about animals. If I have learned anything else, I will do an update on the animals now that I have finally covered everything I have learned. If you by chance know of any way, any of the questions that I brought up, like is there a mod that allows you to create a vet, that would be great. Um, Jesus, who are you? Who are you doing all that? Yeah, not. so we are not too far actually from getting a lot further. I was actually going to do a video on all the benches, the workbenches here, but I'm actually lacking the components to build one of them, and I wanted to make sure it was built before I did that. As you can see, there's a lot of things that are broken that need fixing. Um, but that is it for today. Thank you very, very much for being here and having patience with us as we giggle our way and talk about squirt and heifers. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a, a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, and a wonderful five, five o'clock somewhere. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You know, just in case nobody eats them. What is going on here? What, what is going on here? What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> no! <laughs> what breed will that make? Y'all can't sleep together? Go away! What was that? <laughs> what just happened? They need more beds, mama.